Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another episode of Herschel's Highway. If you're seeing this today, which I guess would be Sunday, that means you guys smashed 2,000 likes on yesterday's episode to get back to back episodes. Now, if you guys did miss yesterday's episode, there's always a link to the playlist in the description box below so you can catch up if you did miss any of the previous episodes. Now, if this video did get 2,000 likes, or last video did get 2,000 likes, thank you so much for the support. I'm having to record this in advance, but I'm fully expecting you guys are great and hit the 2,000 like mark. So, if you guys want to see another video out very soon of this series, make sure to drop a like as well. Let's see if once again you guys can do it. Smash 2,000 likes, see if you guys can keep up with the Connected Franchise audience. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Fully expect to get to a 90 overall plus in today's episode for the first time in this series. Let's be great. Hopefully grab a dub because we are like on a huge winning streak in the series, which is crazy because we started the season off or started the series off with like seven straight episodes or eight straight episodes where we didn't win a game. And then I think we've won ever since. And we've caused a lot of rage quits. So with that, let's keep the streak going, be great, and grab another dub. So our top three players are pretty intimidating. My opponents, pretty intimidating as well. With him having 96 LT, must mean he plays his game a lot. So it's definitely not somebody to take lightly, but I'm going to put it all on the line. We're playing at 1.36 a.m. in the morning, which means probably the most experienced players are playing. But no excuses. My team is mighty good and good enough to beat this guy. Hopefully I say that and don't get blown out because that would be embarrassing. First run of the game. Going to be not that great of one. So hopefully it's not a sign of things to come. A total of one yard on the play. The second down and nine. The post route's going to be open. Calvin Johnson can't hang on. Being the highest overall receiver in the game, man, you've got to hang on to balls like that. But anyways... Let's move forward and hopefully pick this one up and scramble here with Carson and send B up the field. He's wide open. This has got to be a catch. This is Julio Jones, 96. He's got to catch this one, and he does. First down into plus territory. Needed a big play like that. Herschel Walker with the carry. Actually gets something here. Going to pick up a first down. He just seems so slow for some reason. Not trying to complain, but I don't know if it's fatigue or what, but he just seems extra slow the last couple episodes. So second down and three. Julio should be open here. Hopefully he doesn't jump the route. Julio Jones possession catch. Big catch to the 22. Oh, RB. No. No, I waited too late. Reggie White gets a sack. That could have been the touchdown to Herschel Walker, or maybe that could have been the pick. I don't know. Third down and 22. That one hurts. We're kind of out of field goal range now. That's my biggest problem, but like the last couple episodes, just taking sacks. Hanging on to the football way too long. But hopefully we can make up for it and pick up this first down. At least get back into field goal range. Get too antsy in the pocket. Julio Jones again, though. This could be a pick. No, it's not. Julio Jones with the first down. Thank God that guy... Didn't jump that route because once I threw it, he knew what I was doing. Could have easily been a pick. Just going to count my blessings, move along, and smile. Second down and goal. Run with Herschel. Not going anywhere. It's going to set up for a third and goal from the nine. Five rushes for eight yards. Just not having success running the football. Means I probably need to upgrade my offensive line this episode if I can. So third down and goal from the nine. Let's just do the gosh dang thing. Send Tony Gonzalez on a drag just in case hopefully Calvin's open listen Herschel on a why is my fullback running a slant pattern anyways let's just do the dang thing boys oh my let's just not get sacked be smart here be smart X is wide open why do you throw off his back foot okay Thank God that wasn't a pick. If he, like, X was wide open in the back of the end zone, but I'm going to be okay. Smile, because I didn't throw a pick there. Wasn't thrown off his back foot. If he had more arm strength, that easily could have been a pick. But I will take the field goal. 3 nothing lead. Unfortunately, don't get any upgrades there. I'm so excited to test out this defense with this new and upgraded defensive line. Hopefully, it's even better this episode. Calvin Johnson kind of get run over there. But we gang tackle and make the stop. Nobody, I think, is going to be able to run on us, especially when we upgrade that left end to like a 95-plus overall left end. Second down and nine. He's going to run the football here. You cannot run the football on me, man. You're going to have to beat me throwing the football. So third down and ten, my dudes. Let's see if we can force a three and out. It's going to be a play-action pass. Going to make sure he doesn't get open. I'm going to be right there. Calvin Johnson, not there in time, but Brian Dawkins is going to be the one to get the interception. Man, this defense... Should be freaking banned, dude. This defense is so freaking good. Stops the run for the most part every single time. Like, I'm not the greatest user as you guys just saw, but the guys in secondary are so good and so glitchy. They jump almost every single round if you throw it in their vicinity. Get picks and make this series and make playing defense in the series a lot easier than it probably should be. But I will say, it's pretty fun playing with this defense since we did upgrade to the guys in the secondary that we do currently have. And I am potentially going to upgrade it even better. Maybe in this episode, depending on how we finish off, I've talked a lot and my mouth hurts. 
but let's keep things going and hopefully get a touchdown with Herschel Walker to get a lot of upgrades. So we can upgrade to those guys. Herschel Walker's biggest run of the game thus far. Can't get past Paul Krause, but a big carry now. You just have to somehow muster in the end zone with Herschel. Only hope here really is to hit Herschel for a wheel route. If not, I'll look for Calvin on the post. He looks like he's running too deep safety, so he might be able to split the gap. He's going to use it, so we got to be careful. Scramble here with Carson. Going to pick up the first down, get close to the end zone, and hopefully now he can muster it in with Herschel Walker. Had to call a timeout because Herschel is getting exhausted. It wasn't in the game. I gotta have him in the game in this situation so we can possibly get the three upgrades. Herschel Walker up the middle. Herschel Walker's gonna stumble forward into the end zone, and that is massive. That is three upgrades for the Herschel Walker touchdown run as we take a 10 to nothing lead against what is probably the best team we've had played a while in this series. But as long as my defense keeps playing as well as they have the past couple episodes, we should be able to grab the dope pretty easily. That's gonna be another interception. Easy money, dick, with the pick. That rhymed. Just call me Edgar Allen, bro. Like I said, man, this defense is too good and it should be banned. It's like it's so much fun playing. Like they can't. I could set my controller down for the most part and probably like get picks like that. Third down to 12. Want to try my best to put up points when I get situations like this. Let's just not do anything dumb to get the guy back in this ball game. Scrambling here. Oh my. I'm just no, no. God dang it. Why did I do such a thing? My momentary lapse of judgment is disgusting. Third down and nine. See if we can get another pick here. Can we do it? Can we do it? He's throwing the ball. That's got to be an interception. Dick Lane with the pick. Can we bring it back? No, we don't. 12 seconds left. Guess I might as well just run the clock out. Like, stop trying to run the football on me. Like, you're not going to be able to do it. Sorry, but it's just how it is. I'm that good. I'm the man. Put me in a pro tournament. Stretch. Hey, he actually got a block. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, disgusting. Is he actually going to score? No. No, he's not going to score. And at this point, he got a little lucky there. A little bit lucky. little lapse of judgment. But now, he's inside the 20. A pick is going to happen. He's actually finding a couple holes, man. Now he's within the four-yard line. Maybe, I, he, I don't know what he's done. I'm going to do what you should never do. I'm actually going to run commit here. No way he scores here. Calvin Johnson in the backfield. This guy, he's not going to be able to run within the 10. Let's see if we can force a pick. Third down and goal, my dudes. I would take up giving a field goal. Third down and goal. He's going for another screen pass. Is he actually going to get it? Wow. Wow, he actually scores a touchdown on me. That's... That's unfortunate. Post is going to be open. Tony Gonzalez, he had the user, but was a little bit too late. Now within the 20, man. Got to score a touchdown. Third down and five. Going to be a little conservative here. Going to see if we can get some yards here with Herschel Walker. Going to run the ball right up the middle. We're not going to get it. Fourth down. Fourth down and four. I'm going to be a little wild and go for this right here. Guess a drag covered. We can scramble here with Carson Wentz. Don't fumble. Thank God he didn't fumble. Hand off to Herschel. Gap up the middle. Herschel Walker into the end zone. That's going to be game. That's going to be three more upgrades as we take a 10-point lead. Fumble. Fumble. Kendricks. You know what? I'm going to be cheesy. I'm going to be cheesy. I'm going to kneel the football here and try to get another touchdown with Herschel. Herschel Walker. Can we do it? Herschel into the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. We are going to make this team absolutely disgusting. This defense, like, I don't have to do anything. It is too effing good. Herschel Walker with the catch. He gets all the way down to the two, and I feel so bad doing this, dog. But I'm trying to get as many upgrades as possible. I, I apologize to my opponent. Can we get into the end zone one last time? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That is the lamest thing I've ever said on this channel, and that's saying a lot. But that's a fourth rushing touchdown on the game for Herschel Walker, and I think he very well might have eclipsed 100 total yards in the game on that last drive, as we're going to end up getting a massive 31-7 dub, and we, we might finish the team in today's episode. I'm not sure if we don't. It's going to probably only take one more episode if we do at least half decent in the next episode, which means... The Weekend League stream and Weekend League episodes and the close to the end of the series might be happening sooner rather than later. But we do grab the enormous dub, one of the biggest wins of the series thus far, 31-7. to And when the opponents don't rage quit, that means we can actually sit back, relax, and actually count the upgrades and look at the stats. But anyways, 
We start with negative one upgrades because Carson Wentz did throw a pick, but rushing wise, Herschel Walker had 74 yards, four touchdowns, three upgrades apiece is 12. If he had 28 plus receiving yards or 26 plus receiving yards, that's an extra upgrade, and he did have 35, so that kind of negates, well that does negate the interception thrown, so that is 13 upgrades. And I don't think we got any defensive touchdowns and any touchdowns that wasn't Herschel Walker. And that is correct. So we have 13 upgrades plus the win gives us 14 upgrades for today's episode. And this team is just going to be dumb. Dumb. So if you guys now notice the coin amount that I do have after the amount that I had at the beginning of the episode, I just went and spent about 5 million coins because this team, bro... I, I want to do like so well in Weekend League, like, and I'm, I'm going all out. I know I'm not as good as like 95% of the players that play Weekend League, but I'm going to make sure I have as good as team possible so I can maybe beat a couple of those guys that deserve to beat me because they're better than me. But anyways, let's be great and make this team disgusting. With that said, we're going to use three upgrades at the left tackle, center, and right tackle positions for a total of nine upgrades. Each position is going to be three upgrades from a gold to an elite 80 to 85, from an 86 to 90, from a 91 plus, and they're going to be pretty good each. So at left tackle, 94 overall Walter Jones. Bumps us up to a 90 overall. He's the highest overall left tackle in the game. There's no 95, so we are going to be going with Walter Jones. Or you can have the 95 bow, but I have 95 bow at left guard. Now at center, we're going to have the highest overall center in the game. Tied with Bo Jackson once again. That is 94 overall football outsider Mike Pouncey. 96 impact blocking, 92 run blocking, 94 pass blocking. Once again, disgusting and keeps us actually at a 90 overall. Now, going to the right tackle position once again, three upgrades. We're gonna go to 95 overall, the highest overall right tackle in the game, and that is none other than Jack Conklin. Now, this defensive or this offensive line, it's it's just scary, absolutely scary. I think it's the highest overall offensive lineman at every single position. Now, with that said. Let's go over to defense and make it even scarier than it already is. Now, the biggest upgrade on defense is going to be two upgrades, I believe, right here to bring us to a 91 overall plus left end. And that is going to bring us to an absolute beast, the highest overall left end in the game. And that is 95 overall Brandon Graham, who actually doesn't get boosted in this team, but it's going to be okay. He's still, he's still pretty good. Now, we're going to start improving... Now, we're going to start improving some positions that I didn't really expect to improve, but because this series has gone so long, there's been some players that have been released that are better than some of the guys we already have, so I'm just going to try my best to make the team as good as possible. Now, first of all, we're going to do one upgrade each at the cornerback number three and number two position, and you guys, this, this is the highest overall player, most expensive player in the game. You'll probably see both upgrades at the same time, but as you see right here, we're going to be upgrading to 97 overall Deion Sanders. That's a good card. 97 speed, 96 zone, 97 man. That, that's pretty good. And then the other spot, we're getting Rod Woodson, who's going to play the slot corner because he has 95 speed. And that's pretty good. I, wanted to, I went and tried to get the fastest cornerback that wasn't Deion Jones to play in that slot cornerback role. So first of all, going to put Deion Sanders here. I'm not sure if he gets bumped up to a 98. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Now, cornerback number three. Let's see if Rod Woodson gets boosted up to a 96. And he does. So now let's swap them around. We'll swap Deion Sanders with Night Train Lane. And the cornerback core that we have, dude, I don't know, is good. It's scary good. And I'm going to keep Calvin here because I do want to use him at the middle linebacker position. And with that said, talking about the middle linebacker position, our last upgrade is going to be the middle linebacker position with one upgrade. We're going to go to the highest overall middle linebacker in the game, and that is Brian Erlocker. And this team has been boosted up all the way to a 92 overall. And I think we're going to put our backup middle linebacker never plays. But we will put Ladanian Thomason at the middle linebacker at number two spot. Now, this team is all the way up to a 92 overall. And I think what I might do 
is try to max out the Cowboys training tier and see if the players, I think the only guy that's a Cowboy in our team is Deion Sanders. And on offense, do we have any Cowboys? We have Mike Irvin, Herschel Walker, and that's it. But I'm gonna try to max that out with the uniforms and everything and try to get them as high as overall as possible. But dude, this team, it's mighty good. And the overall is gonna improve whenever we do upgrade the outside linebacker positions. And the reason I haven't upgraded them yet is because they never get on the field with the defense that I run. But I am going to upgrade them just for the sake of the series and just to upgrade them. And because like I might need to mix things up in Weekend League. So we'll upgrade them. But this team, dude, it is disgusting. Disgusting. And I have no excuses. Like this is one this is like probably the best defense you can get in Madden 18. Like, unless I have, like, Sean Taylor, which I don't have Master Sean Taylor because I, I, like, I don't play much Madden aside from recording. But anyways, this team is just disgusting. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. With that said, boys, that is going to do it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell also if you haven't. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.